Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Saif and this is a continuation of video lecture series on Rasa chatbot development using Google Colab. In this video, we will test our customized hotel chatbot and evaluate the chatbot performance. Before that, I strongly recommend to watch my previous video for better understanding and subscribe my channel. Let's get started. As you see, the training of model is completed. It takes approximately 10 minutes. Now, let's test our chatbot. For that, declare the endpoint and pass the endpoint.yml and call chat function and pass the model path and endpoint and execute that line let's say okay so let's call i need room okay. five room i need sample room that's great it's working fine now stop the chat and check with some other conversation for that type stop let's say i want to know the cancellation policy of hotel so for that let's copy this line and paste it to the another cell executed check with our bot what it said so i want to know the uh, cancellation policy of hotel for that bot responded with him, the booking deposit is refundable if the cancellation occur at least at 15 days before the arrival so let's see what we write in the doc file as you see we write in the doc file is the same as that bot responded with that so it's working properly well now stop the chat as we know the model is working fine but uh, rasa is also have uh, some specific function which evaluate the model performance let's evaluate the model performance for that type import rasa dot data as data type underscore directory MLU data directory data dot get core NLU directories and pass the training file and print both data directory and storage directory comma nlu data directory and execute that line now we create the data separately for storage directory and nlu data directory it's time to test our model by passing this to the 
test function for that type rasa dot test pass the model path and pass the storage directory and nlu data directory and print if testing is done it takes some time and return the result in the form of confusion matrix so let's execute this it return the result with true responses versus predicted responses as you see there are different number of intents and different number of their responses so it's create a confusion matrix on according to that when you notice this confusion matrix really carefully you notice that the chances of getting error is very low or simply say the chances of any false value prediction is approximately none so you can say that the model is really good and robust in this way you can transform the initial rasa chatbot model to the chatbot that needed to you or to your problem statement i hope you understand all these things and i hope everything is clear to you but if in case you face any kind of difficulties in understanding any part of this topic please leave a comment below and i try to help you on that there are lot other things we can do and add in this chatbot and also deploy this chatbot to the multiple platform like slack skype messenger etc we will discuss this in separate videos that's all from my side i hope you like the video so don't forget to like the video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from our channel i also give the link of github where you find this notebook till then happy learning